सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट करिकुलम बेस्ड सीरीज ध्वनि शाला सो लेट्स ज्वाइन इन ध्वनि शाला क्लास थ्री हेलो किड्स इट्स मी योर फ्रेंड कल्पना रिमेम्बर मी वेन वी मेट लास्ट टाइम वी टॉक अबाउट अ चाइल्ड हु लवस टू वेक अप अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग एंड वी हैड सो मच फन दैट टाइम टूडे I have a very interesting story to share with you all. So, last evening I received a call from a friend who told me about this garden with beautiful flowers. But these flowers are not ordinary flowers which you and I have seen so many times. they are magical yes magical and they are in a garden which has fairies too can you imagine a garden with magical flowers and fairies how wonderful it sounds i feel like some of you must be wondering about this place and want to know more about it I will share this story with you but you need to promise that you will listen to it very carefully because it has magic and as we know magic is fun so here we go The magic garden The magic garden was in a school playground It was very pretty. Sunflowers and roses stood high against the wall. There were also marigolds, poppies and pansies. The sunshine fell on this garden more than on any other, and the flowers danced and sang happily. They said to one another, "We have hundreds of little gardeners." They were the children from the school. One sunny morning, the flowers were talking to the birds. I love all the children, but I love the dear little ones most of all, said a poppy. I like them to bring their watering cans and water my thirsty roots. Yes, said the marigolds. The boys are good to us too. They dig the ground so well. We love the little children, said a tiny bird. They are kind and they bring bread for us. All the flowers said, "We must work hard to make our dresses very pretty, for the children will be here soon." The sun said, I will help also for nothing pleases me better than to see the children running about in the golden sunshine Suddenly the children came out laughing and singing and the flowers stopped their songs to listen to them Oh look at the tall sunflower said one child and the sunflower lifted its head very proudly another child said i love the marigold in its golden dress the marigold smiled happily page 6 it was indeed a magic garden because it had fairies too They danced and sang sweet songs which only the children could hear. After a time, the fairies came out dancing and talked with the children. Their dresses were made of flowers and their wings of sunshine. The magic garden was quiet that night. The flowers and birds were asleep and dreaming of the next day when the children would come again. 
what a lovely story now it's time to talk about some questions so that we can see that how much we remember from this beautiful story a first question is why did the flowers love the little children yes they loved them because the children took care of the flowers by watering their roots our next question is why did the birds love the children do you know the answer to this question right the birds loved the children because they were kind to them and brought bread for them and our last question is what sounds could the children hear in the garden can you recall what sounds children heard in the garden most of you guessed it right it was a magic garden and the children could hear the sound of sweet songs sung by fairies and you know what was so special about these songs that only children could hear them and nobody else that's why it was our magical garden so children i have another very interesting activity for you our chapter is about flowers so what we are going to do we are going to do a fun activity with flowers collect some flowers and remember do not pluck them what you can do is collect the flowers which are fallen from the plants for next step what you have to do is put each flower carefully between the pages of an old notebook or book after putting the flower place some heavy books on top of the old book and then leave it for some days after some days you can open your old book or notebook and you will see that the flowers have dried up now you can stick these flowers in your scrapbook and write the name of each flower you are going to enjoy this activity very much listen to this story carefully once again the magic garden the magic garden was in a school playground it was very pretty sunflowers and roses stood high against the wall there were also marigolds poppies and pansies the sunshine fell on this garden more than on any other and the flowers danced and sang happily they said to one another we have hundreds of little gardeners they were the children from the school one sunny morning the flowers were talking to the birds i love all the children but i love the dear little ones most of all said a poppy i like them to bring their watering cans and water my thirsty roots yes said the marigolds the boys are good to us too they dig the ground so well we love the little children said a tiny bird they are kind and they bring bread for us all the flowers said we must work hard to make our dresses very pretty for the children will be here soon the sun said i will help also for nothing pleases me better than to see the children running about in the golden sunshine suddenly the children came out laughing and singing and the flowers stopped their songs to listen to them oh 
Look at the tall sunflower, said one child. And the sunflower lifted its head very proudly. Another child said, I love the marigold in its golden dress. The marigold smiled happily. Page 6 It was indeed a magic garden because it had fairies too. They danced and sang sweet songs which only the children could hear. After a time, the fairies came out dancing and talked with the children. Their dresses were made of flowers and their wings of sunshine. The magic garden was quiet that night. The flowers and birds were asleep and dreaming of the next day when the children would come again. Hi kids, it's me again. Did you enjoy the story? Well, I surely did. Let's talk about some things we found in our story today. Oh, look, so many new words. Let's see what we have here. We have magic, garden, gardeners, playground, sunshine, golden, and dreaming. Don't you think that we have used many of these words even before listening to this story? I sure think so. So, how about we try forming some sentences using these words? It is going to be so much fun. Our first word is magic. We can say, I have a magic pen or I have a magic book. You know what is good about magic? That you can also use your imagination when it comes to magic. You can do anything when it comes to magic. Our next word is garden. We all have been to a garden, haven't we? So, I'm going to form a sentence with the word garden now. My garden has so many beautiful flowers. A garden also have a gardener. Do you know who a gardener is? If you don't know, I'm here to tell about a gardener. So, a gardener is a person who takes care of a garden. He takes care of the plants there he, uh, and takes care of the beautiful flowers there. So, my sentence with the word gardener is, The gardener waters the plants every day. Do you water your plants every day? Because it is important to take care of our plants. And our next word now is playground. Don't we all love playgrounds? But nowadays we can't go there and have fun. And you know the reason behind it, right? Yes, because of Corona, we need to be extra careful and take care of our health. Since we all love playgrounds, we should make our own sentences with the word and keep it a secret. You all know what a secret is, right? It is something that we don't share with everyone. So, playground is going to be our secret word. We are going to make our own sentences with this word. Next word is sunshine. 
and it means sunlight which reaches to us and we noticed this word when it came up in the story i'm going to repeat that sentence for you in case you have forgotten where it appeared in the story so the sentence was the sunshine fell on this garden more than on any other and what we have next is the word golden most of us have heard this word before am i right how about we make a sentence using the word golden in our notebooks you know we have so many golden things around us so it will be easier for us to write this word and create a sentence on our own our last word is dreaming and it is a very lovely word do you know what dreaming is have you ever been to different places or met your favorite cartoon after falling asleep that is dreaming dreaming is an adventure and it is so much fun so my sentence is i was dreaming about chocolates last night i love chocolates do you love chocolates too now you think of a sentence using the word dreaming and don't forget about our words playground and golden and remember what our secret word was yes it was playground wow we got to know about so many words today it is time to play a game and then we will do another fun activity in this game we are going to choose a flower from the story and guess its color and maybe later we can try to find a name for it in another language you can take help of your friends or family as well so i will go first to give you a hint of how to play this game my favorite flower is rose most roses are red some are white some are yellow are there blue roses i have not seen any blue roses have you seen any blue roses so here is an an interesting fact about flowers names that we can find so many names in other languages my grandmother once told me that rose has another name it is called gulab in hindi and urdu now it is your turn to think about a flower of your choice once we are done with all our activities you can play this game at home too and if you don't know about another name of the flower in your language you can talk to your elders about it our next activity is very interesting and those of you who paid attention to the story will like it very much we are going to talk about the garden mentioned in the story here but you can use your knowledge too what we are going to do is mention two things in each category like when i say insects you have to think of two insects which are found in a garden take out your notebooks and your time starts now write the name of any two insects two trees 
two birds, two tools which are used for gardening and two flowers which you see in a garden. I am sure many of you must have thought of something and those of you who couldn't think of something right now or missed something don't need to worry. You can think of it later. We have got plenty of time. Now, it's time for me to go. But before we say goodbye, let's have a fun activity for home. In your book, there is a big blank box on page 9. And it is for you to draw your garden. If you can't find your book, you can use your notebooks as well. Think about what you want to have in your garden. The trees, the flowers, the animals. Oh, oh, I have said so many things, but it is not my garden. It is your garden. So, draw what you love. Once you are done with drawing, you can also practice writing the names of any three flowers which you might like to grow in your garden. I hope you enjoyed this story and our activities as much as I did. It's time for me to go now. Hope you have a magical day. Goodbye. So friends, you were just listening to this series Dhwani Shala. Production Assistants Minakshi Kukreti and Tanu Gupta Recorded by Bati Lang Lingdo Produced by Ajit Horo This series was brought to you by CIET and CERT New Delhi, India